I have always wanted to learn how to draw. And today we're going to be checking out the Canva 16 from 2021. Why this model? Even if it is a little bit older, you can still purchase this on their website brand new. And with the price right now of less than 300 bucks, I think it's a really good thing to take, especially if you are an artist or you want to start drawing directly into your PC. So on this video, we're going to be unboxing and test it for the first time and give you guys my first impression about it. Now, as we are opening it, let me tell you why I decided to test this right here. Because thanks to one big channel that I follow from a long time, Nerdforge, they made a challenge about 100 hours to learn how to draw. And I really wanted to learn how to draw since a long time. So I think this is the best opportunity to do it. Here on the back of the package, you can see everything that is included and how to connect it into your PC. But let's open this up. Whoa, it's heavy, guys. Now I'm going to do the same thing that they did in Nerdforge, and I'm going to be doing a challenge of 100 hours to learn how to draw, and I'm going to be recording it. So if you don't want to miss it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Now, this is the display itself or the tablet itself. Let's check that out in a little bit. Let's see what more is inside of the box. One piece of paper. Here is the folder for the pen. The pen itself, and for what I have read, this has over 8,000 points of sensibility. So it's going to be really good for drawing and painting itself. It's really light, the pen. I like it. Here is the stand. Uh, you can also ask for one option without the stand itself, but I recommend to get it if you want to. Again, this is optional. This uh, instructions manual, let's set everything inside. And this is the stand for the tablet itself. Now, what else? On this right side, you're going to find a small drawing glove. And this is so the back of your palm, your hand, doesn't mess around with your tablet while you are drawing. Some more instructions manual. And once more cloth to clean your tablet. On this small box, I believe it's going to be the power brick. And yes, here it is. Mine is the European connector. So I'm going to set this up. And here are all your cables. Now, you have two different ways to connect this into your PC. One of them is with, with the USB type A to type C port for power and want USB Type-C to Type-C to connect it to your laptop or your tablet, depending on what you want to use it for drawing. And the second option is right here again, one red USB Type-A for power. And right here, you're going to have another different cables, as you can see. In one side, you have one USB Type-C this is the one that go into the tablet itself. And on the other side, you're going to have three cables, the USB type A to connect into your computer, the HDMI port, because this tablet works as a monitor. And the red one is the one for power. And let's check out the tablet itself. As you can see right here, you have some rubber feet in the bottom. So this doesn't move around in your table too much. Really good, a bunch of buttons on the left side and the power button. On the right side, you're going to have your connection, your PC. One of them is for the USB Type-C normal cable, and the other one is for the three-in-one cable that I showed you before. This looks great. Now, with nothing else to add, let's set it up into the PC and test it out. Come on. Join me. So guys, I've just set it up into my PC and it's something really easy to do. I just simply connected the USB Type-C cable into the tablet itself and on the back of my GPU and it's already working without the need to the other three cables, but depending on the PC that you have, maybe you're going to need them. Now, the setup process inside of the PC itself was really simple, but as I have two different monitors, 
I had to change a little bit the configuration to make it work at least with this software. And that was that I had to mirror my main display into the tablet itself, but now it's working correctly. So now that I have the software already open, let's test it out a little bit now. A couple of lines. If I press really lightly on the tablet, you can see that you cannot almost see anything. And it's something like a real pencil and should, and like that it should be. Now, if I press harder, you can really see becoming darker and darker. Another thing I wanted to try is the tilt. So if I have the pen pointing upwards, it's a really a fine line, just like a pencil. And if I tilt my pen, you can see already starting to get some thicker and thicker lines the more you tilt your pen. Now, this looks amazing, so I want to do a small test. Let's make a 3D ball, something like this. Doesn't need to be perfect. And let's add some shading into it. Now, as you know, because of the beginning of the video, and as I say, I don't really know how to draw. So I'm going to test this out to learn. Not bad. <laughs> not perfect, of course, but not too bad. I really like these guys. I think that if you want to draw, if you already know how to draw, or if you are new like myself and you want to learn and to have something a little bit different or something to start some digital art, not simply by using a pencil and paper, for the price of it, this is amazing. On the left side, you have some buttons that you can customize and the power button. One thing that I will tell you guys is that if your model doesn't come with a stand, I would recommend you guys to get it because it makes it, depending on the position that you are going to be drawing, I think it's preferable to use it in this way. But again, this is up to you. That is your preference and do what you wish for. So guys, if you really like this video, and you want to see the progression that I will be making with these 100 hours of learning how to draw, just subscribe to the channel. So, subscribe. And do it as well if you enjoy tech tutorials, reviews, uh, unboxing, and everything tech related, because that is mostly what this channel is about. Thanks for watching, my friends. And if you enjoy content like this one, don't forget to drop a like into the video because this will really help the channel out. Once again, thanks for watching and see you guys on the next time. Bye bye.